Hey guys, welcome again to another video of this series. Today we'll be talking about some camera movement and also we'll be adding some notifies to our attack montages. On the first video, I did show you a transition between a regular camera and a sprint camera. I went through it briefly. Uh, today we'll dive a little bit into it. As you can see, we have on our camera director, we grabbed our sprint variable. If we're sprinting, we call sprint camera rig. If we're not, we will call relax camera rig. And if you go to the camera asset, we have here our sprint rig. And as you can see, my fav is 100. And on the relax rig, the fav is set to 80. And if you want to adjust the blend between these two rigs, you just go to transitions and here you can change the value how fast or how slow you can uh, transition smoothly between the two rigs so you'll have to double click on each rig to do it we also have a combat rig i have here the offset set to zero so i want to center my character in the screen uh, so we can have an equal view from each side so now let's set up this we're gonna go to our camera director and from our character we're gonna get our lock on component and from here we're gonna call is lock on this variable is set to private by default so you might want to change that to public so if we are sprinting, we still want to do our sprint rig. And here we could simply call if we are lock on, meaning we are on combat, we call combat rig. So this is how we can switch between different rigs. All right, compile and let's test it. So my character is offset to the left side. And when I sprint, it's giving me the, the zoom in, zoom out. And when I lock, my character will center. And when we go out, we're back to our relax combat. And if we sprint, we're getting that far. All right, so this is the camera setup is done now. So now we can go to our first attack montage and we will be adding some uh, notifies here that are necessary for combat fury. And the first notify I'm gonna be uh, using is the rotate to action uh, to target notify and it's a state. Go to notify state, rotate, to target this notify will allow the player to move and also to face the enemy so one thing is important is where you want to start this notify from for good practice you want to start right at where at least one foot it start moving otherwise if you start here where the two feet is planted on the ground you're gonna capture the sliding it will show if you are rotating the actor you'll sh see your feet sliding or if you're moving you'll see the feet moving so you want to start right at least one foot it start moving so we're going to move our rotate to here and then you want to end it when the two feet start to get planted on the ground if th there is more steps into your animation you can extend it but as soon as he planted the two feet and there is no more movement you want to end it there if you look at the details we have the speed of the movement and the rotation the distance required to face the enemy if you would like to move close to the enemy and the distance required to move to the enemy so here the speed will keep it seven our lock on target range we changed it to 600 so for 
the distance to face we can say 600 that's the max we can check for yes i want to move closer when i land when i throw the punch how much distance to allow this move to the target i'm gonna go for 250. if i put 600 you're literally gonna teleport from the max distance all the way to the target so depending on the style you you combat you're looking for if your character can teleport then you can increase the distance and he will teleport to cover the whole range so the switch to nearest enemy keep that to true and this will allow us to check who which enemy when you surrounded by enemies which enemy fall in this range and that's the one you're going to target first all right so this is the first step now the second notify again it's a notify state it's called gameplay camera and this will allow us to manipulate the rotation the, the location uh, and the fob of the camera and the best practice for this one is you want to start it right at where the action start happening if you start it from here while your player is idling you're gonna the camera already start moving but unless that's what you want of course but you'll the camera start making an action but your player or your character is not doing anything so i want to start it right at the motion right here so what i'll do i'll just grab this and we can end right at the end the recovery of the attack and as you can see we have all bunch of numbers the defaults are should match what you have in the camera rigs and the desire is the one that you can play with so we're going to keep the offset the same as the default uh, for rotation we want a small tilt uh, of the camera so if i'm punching with the left i want to tilt to the right and if i'm punching with my right uh, hand or i'm kicking with my right leg I want to tilt to the left so to tilt to the right is negative three to the left is positive three all right so let's give this a try and see what we have so first thing i want to show you guys is the camera so now we are in range so if i punch you can see the small tilt to the right and i am locked on but i'm not in a a 250 range to move to the target if i go a little bit close i'm assuming this is probably it you see how i'm moving and it doesn't look bad and it doesn't look uh, exaggerated and you can adjust the speed how fast or slow you want to move to the target so these are important the next one is our hitbox melee uh, so let's add another row and let's go for melee hitbox notify or hitbox melee and same thing you want to start our trace uh, when we start uh, throwing the punch and uh, that should be good And here on the details, uh, you have two options, unarmed or armed, if you are equipping a weapon or not. So we can keep it unarmed, even though we are equipping the gloves. Uh, we can uh, set the socket from our skeleton, which uh, bone basically it's going to be the drive of these traces. So in this case, it's going to be the left hand the trace you can make it as big or as small this is something you want to, to think about if you want to be so accurate on the impact or you want to give your player a little bit of uh, win meaning the punch didn't land but the trace is big enough uh, to touch the enemy so i'm gonna go with uh, 25 uh, <clears throat> We don't care about the second weapon or boat because we're just throwing a uh, socket from the actual uh, skeleton. All right, so we are throwing this with the left. If we go to our character, 
and we go to hitbox and change this to duration for example and now if I throw the punch you'll see my trace something I noticed just now when I if I'm not in range and I try to attack we're not attacking if I go in the range I'm attacking I must forget this last time when I was doing the directional attack we have here this to check if we are locked on an enemy so if we're not we want to do our regular combos so as you can see here if there is no target we will do our regular combos compile let's save and let's give it a test as you can see i'm not locked but i still can throw punches if i'm locked now if i go close you can see that there is a hit that's all right right there perfect so <clears throat> next step is we need another notify this time is a hit reaction notify and this one will collect all the information about this punch and will apply it to the enemy so as you can see on the details the strength of this attack this is an enum you can modify it as you please you can add additional uh, options so for this one we'll call it light our punches will be light and our kicks will be heavy we might have some very heavy attacks later on for the super gloves specials uh, for the damage the goal is to finish the combo completely and right after the last strike of the combo i want to trigger that finisher so i did this ahead and the value i'm going to come up with is 18 for light attacks and then for the kicks i have three so i need to divide that and see where i need how much damage i want to put so i can after three kicks the fourth one will be a finisher so just keep that in mind when you're designing your game you want uh, to to balance these damage uh, accordingly and again it's depend what you want to achieve and this is what i want to achieve with this uh, example so for air hit reaction we're not doing any uh, air attacks uh, this is grounded so it's a front we if we hit the enemy and he's we're he's facing me and i'm facing him meaning it's front hit reaction which side of this impact gonna hit so it's gonna hit the right high it's a jab to the head so it's gonna be a right high and if if the enemy basically is not facing the player it's gonna be on the left high left so the left of the enemy if the enemy is facing the same as the player can this attack be blocked we're gonna say yes and block reaction it's gonna be same as the front attack so it's gonna be high right if the enemy is facing the player he will block from the right side now with this one do i want my player to bounce back when his attack is blocked if you want to do that then you press true and you set your reaction when your attack gets blocked the hit sound we will do this later again the visual effects we'll do this later and for the camera shake we'll play with this again later but we'll use the default uh, the decal if you have any decal for damage this is a slice so i'm not gonna use the decal for this and pushback how much distance you would like to push the enemy for light attack we can say 35 and we can balance this as we test you want to use head stop i'll say yes maybe 0 1 5 we'll play with this and see how it works all right let's give this a try and see what we have so far and keep in mind this is a, a balancing matter so you might have to go back and adjust some values till you really uh, nail it 
So let's see what we have now. Uh, so our jab, our hit stop, and of course, this is very uh, raw. There is no sound, there is no VFX, there is no feedbacks yet, except the shake and uh, the hit stop. All right. So now the next step I would like to to do is we're gonna go to this. Uh, enemy <clears throat> or dummy and go to the base and look for event point damage and this is some the stuff I do to make things uh, just look a little bit appealing so here at uh, right after the impact I'm gonna look for my damage causer and I'm gonna get component uh, our event is located uh, in Perry system so Perry attack component and we're gonna call cam gameplay cam position and this is what we're gonna manipulate and then we're gonna reset retriggable delay and I use retriggable delay so the, it's not getting piled up if we use delay and then now we're gonna Call this again and these values will be the default of our camera rig so here the default values are 200 25 rotation is 0 the fob is 80 and the speed will just go for 2 the target will go for 100 so negative you pull back the camera uh, positive you, you go forward so this and here we can call 25 we'll add a little bit of uh, should we add a tilt we'll leave the tilt as is and the fav we can set it to 70 the speed we can say seven all right let's give this a try and see what we have so far if we are in the lock-on range the camera transition to the center if we threw a punch the camera will tilt as you can see and if we do land a hit the camera will zoom in on impact as you can see perfect we can always tweak these values to get the result we need I hope you enjoyed this video. The next one, we will be adding uh, hit reactions to the enemy. And thank you for watching and see you next time.